Oh my gosh, guys. I call this multitasking. This is the new intro song. Hope you guys like it. We got Milton. We got Carolyn on the show today. Carol's Entertainment Podcast. Who's ready? I'm ready. Go call your friends. Go call your family. Get your drinks. Uh, go get your food. Go tell your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We're dropping episodes left and right. Every week I drop an episode. Yes, I do. We have an amazing guest today. We got a packed show, so we're going to get straight to it. Guys, shout out to Carolyn and Milton in the house. Milton's in the house with us today. We're all very lucky. <laughs> Told you, we're all we're all the positive vibes. Yeah. Milton just heard the positive vibes. He wanted to join the show, so we're like, come through, guys. Before we, yeah, I'm telling you guys. Before we get into the topic and what we're going to talk about today, which is about forgiveness, and and you know what, we just have. I don't know. Have you ever seen the movie um, Just Friends? I have, yes. Ryan Reynolds, and, and he, she sings that song, Forgiveness. Oh, my. <laughs> so funny. I love that. Movie. We watched so that, Yeah, I, we watched that the other day. It was so awesome. Um, so we're going to talk about forgiveness, guys, which a lot of, we don't, a lot of people don't talk about. And very people are shy about to talk about that. Mm-hmm. But we're going to jump into that. It's going to be cool stuff, guys. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I forgot to say the name of the show. My name's Ariel. I'm just so excited to start this. My name's Ariel, guys. So thanking, so thanking you so much for joining us. Make sure you share, follow, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends and family. It means the world to me. ArielENT.com is my website. I'll repeat it one more time. ArielENT.com. ArielENT.com. Boom. I said it three times. And then my Instagram. Yep. Instagram, Ariel, E-N-T-P-O-D is a great way to support me too. Um, going to my shop. Oh, I'll show you guys the hottest store right now. See, I told you multitasking is the best. There it is. I hope you can see. <laughs> I'm still learning, guys. This is my website. Go to arielent.com. You go to the top and check out the t-shirts. People love them. People wear them when they're fixing their cars. Can you believe it? I saw my dad wearing the white t-shirt, fixing the cars. And dad that looks so good on you okay you can buy this for your family guys ariel i'm telling you guys thank you so much uh let me see here oh yeah i forgot to tell us today is oh. about the date, september 16th i usually say that in the beginning of the podcast but i missed that that is my mistake but it's no big deal denver colorado we are live i got the water it's what happens when you're live. It's just that goes. It's the beauty of it. See, I told you. It's the beauty of it. It's the nature of it. It's the it, it's natural. It's raw. People love it. Okay. Um, share, follow, and subscribe, guys. We about to get into some topics like Ray Key, and we're gonna get into some topics like forgiveness. Um, but everybody comments me this all the time and tells me. This is their favorite part of the whole show, which is the prayer. So this is the prayer of the whole week for you guys. I want to say thank you, God, for taking care of us every day, every second, our perfect health, our families, watch over our families, keep them safe and sound as well. Thank you for our cars or any transportation. We get to point A to point B safely. And then um, I got a prayer right here. (sighs) Angel of God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here. Ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Thank you, God, for this amazing podcast for us, joining us all together, being on the same frequency and restoring the shelves and the food. Every time I go to the store, I get everything I need. It's so amazing. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, That's basically it. Um, Just helping our families, taking care of our grandparents, our nieces and nephews, our brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you, God, for watching over us and our perfect health. And answering our prayers and thoughts. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Yeah. Positive vibes. And that's what I usually do. I just say thank you and put that feeling in it. And that's it. I don't even ask for anything. I just thank him, even though if I don't have it, there's a difference between asking and then, um, and then just thanking God, I think. So even if you don't have it, I just say, thank you, God, for the amazing food I'm going to have this weekend when I go to the grocery store. I don't even have it. And then I go to the grocery store and I get all the groceries I need. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Um, all right. Okay. 
Uh, let's bring in Carolyn into the show. Milton must have dipped out, huh? <laughs> oh, he's still here, but he's kind of melted onto my lap. There you go. <laughs> gotta let him chill, you know? You very gotta let him chill, definitely. <laughs> hey, so tell, tell us about yourself, and uh, if there's any social medias, we can follow you. Most definitely. Thank you, Ariel, for having me on. It is truly my pleasure to be on your show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm Carolyn, and I have a few social media platforms you can follow if you jive with what I'm throwing down. Yep. I'm on Instagram. That would be Carolyn Shares. That's my handle, one word. Cool. Yep. I'm on Facebook. I have a page. That's how I mostly interact on Facebook. It's on my page, and that is Carolyn Shares. There it is. Yeah. And then you got a website. And then a website. It's also carolynshares.com. So real easy to find me. And the only other one is YouTube. YouTube is also Carolyn Shares. I'm trying to keep it real consistent for you guys. You know, I just want you to find me if you need, if you need. So Carolyn Shares, plug it into somewhere. You'll probably find me. That's very cool, Carolyn. Uh, I think it's really cool that you're out there putting content into all of those platforms. And then I think it's really nice that you have your own website. Can you tell us a little bit about your website? I think it's really cool. You got the, you got your YouTube. It's really cool. Um, it's like your main spot because you have your connections, your Insta, your Facebook, your YouTube, the three top main yeah. hot spots right there. Email, yeah. subject, Truth Ministry. You told me you have this to this evening. What's going on with that? Yeah, so that is something that I'm most passionate about. And the reason you see this simplified version of my website is because my, my purpose keeps developing so quickly. I have a lot to give. And the thing is, my marketing skills can't keep up with my development, you know? So I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, keep it simple. If, you, if, if people need to get in touch with me, I want them to have that easy way to get in touch with me. The truth ministry is where I'm really um, stepping into my authentic power, where I, I get to share the truth about forgiveness, really. And um, it's, it's where I feel the most called. And if people are interested in what I'm saying, those are some online classes that I do weekly that in a Zoom where it's private, okay, so we're not doing it live on social media. I'm not trying to be all on social media. I want it to be supported outside of that, those platforms as well. So it's private and there's a safe place to ask questions, right? But I'll be doing online classes weekly for as long as I can break. <laughs> yeah, no, I just... I'm, I'm going to be giving out weekly classes. I'm going to extend the truth in those classes based off of what the Course in Miracles shares. It's okay. just one spiritual path that leads to God. So <laughs> that is the simplified version. If you want more, I can give you more, but really how I speak, how I address things and how I, how I conduct all my business, all of it's based in love. It's all based in love and in service. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm living my dream. So yeah, yeah. when great. this kind of stuff resonates and when I find people like you who are like resonating at that gratitude level, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, yeah. that is true forgiveness. Cause you're just, you see things how they are, which is everything's a blessing. Yeah. And I love that about you. I love that about you. In fact, you inspire me because I, I, I have trained my mind to correctly perceive things as they are so that I can keep my inner peace, but I'm not always successful at it. So when I see somebody like you, you seem to do it innately, spontaneously all the time. And it's like, wow, that's contagious. That is this like, I, when I tap into that, I feel like that's what I'm sharing, but it doesn't happen all the time for me. And so I just, I want to get to know you to find out where you tap into that. Where's your, you, you as well, we know what you, we know you're tapped in to God's source and that's what keeps you going. And so it's kind of like, I get to see you as a demonstration of what the truth is. And that's what my truth ministry is based on. I, I want most people, 
as many as are willing to see the world like you and I. Yeah. No, I, do, I those are some really kind words, and uh, you. I think that's so cool that uh, you know uh, you're into uh, spirituality, you're into positivity, you're into gratefulness, and that's what it's all about, I believe. And you're all about that. And uh, yeah, it, for me, I feel what I tap into is the moment I first wake up. That's what taps me into it. Even before, I, even when I go to bed, I tap into it. So I tap into it when I first wake up, um, just throughout the whole day. Uh, it's just the littlest things. I'm, it's just crazy. You, I don't realize that I'm like um, showing it that much through the like what I'm doing. I don't realize that. I mean, you're the most. Like, I, I I see the videos and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm doing. I just I'm because my my mind is usually in the creativity side. It's um. Uh, I'm trying to, I don't know, but that's what I'm focusing more. And so when you're telling me like, yeah, I'm, you're feeling this. And so that kind of inspires you that that's really cool because uh, um, I've never saw it. I've never seen it that way. So that's really cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. You have no idea the people you're touching. Right. And that's the miracle. That's, be- that's really beautiful. It's kind of like is you just being you is how it benefits me. Can you be more you? Cause that will benefit me. And that's how this vibration and this world and this energy works. That's the principle that Reiki is built off of is an energy and vibration. So we can tap into that. If we have the willingness to tap into that, we have a lot more going for us than we know. It's so <laughs> it's expansive, right? It just keeps going. Like you keep thinking, wow, I've reached some amazing epic, status and then you're like wow it goes more if i lean into that and trust it and allow and actually be more me the more i be more me yeah the better things go and the better it is for all of my relationships whether they're really short really brief really casual really intimate all, all of them it's better if i'm me yeah and yeah and you know what it's um i believe for me uh these social medias actually helped me out be more me which is so weird you think you know you go to you going to school i went to school and met about a lot of people let on networking stuff but uh social media i mean that brings out your 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 creativity and i feel that like that that is a that helped me out a lot to bring out a lot out of me yeah, you can tell it's a tool in a medium that your soul likes to speak through, right? Which is cool. It's just you doing your art, the way you creatively put together things. And it doesn't even have to be words. It doesn't have to be your prayers are awesome. But it's almost like, how easy is that? How good is God? She lets you do what you do best and she's rewarding you for it. <laughs> like all of it is, ah, it's really good. Yeah. I feel uh, anything. I feel God, like they say God's everywhere. I feel that too. And that uh, like when I'm going hiking, I see it. When I see it, like, man, thank you, God, for letting me be here hiking. I see these amazing trees. Thank you, God, for this amazing air. It's just weird when I'm just walking, I'm just hiking, just thinking the little things, just thanking him. And and, um, what I want to get into is uh, what made you get into being into because I saw on your website that you're into you're getting into classes here soon, which is around six thirty Mountain Time. Yeah, yeah um, in an hour months. from now. Yeah. Yeah. So I and then your forgiveness coach. Uh, I think that is so cool. Uh, what made you get into all that? Well, honestly, I feel like naturally, this is meant. This job is meant for me. I've kind of been doing it informally my whole life right and now I'm like oh I realize that's a skill that I have and when I found A Course in Miracles it was a um it was a thought system just like a spiritual psychology a system that I could use to get results and that was like oh I love easy I love results I love like boom 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 tell me what to do I'll do it I'm miserable have you been on your knees yet? (laughs) Because if you, the truth is what got me into it is I've been on my knees way too many times where I feel depressed, terrified, hopeless, lonely, worried. And those are the moments that I forget about my connection with God. And I forget I'm a child of God. So it's like, none of us are exempt from that. But I became, I became so 
I could not tolerate the level of pain that I was living, that I was seeing in the world. I needed something different. And I heard a curriculum, The Course in Miracles, from some random teacher at a random unity church in Denver, Colorado. And mm -hmm. it was like, it spoke to me. It was like telling me, it reminded me of my innocence. It reminded me that I deserve loving correction. And it just spoke to my soul. And from that moment forward, my life has never been the same because I got to, it's like that, you know, yeah. you awaken. Oh, yeah. if, if we're lucky, we get to awaken in this dream. And then that's when it really begins. And yep. so it's like, mm, if anybody out there listening wants a way, but hasn't found their way, try this way. Come try it with me. You don't have to have it. It's ideas. Ideas don't hurt you and you can take them or leave them. And it's, it's always a good idea, especially if you're upset or if you're unhappy or depressed to want to see it differently. <laughs> it's, it's a good idea to want to be wrong about that and, and be like willing to hear any solution if that means peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I wrote here, uh, the course of the, you said it's called the course of miracles. It's called uh, a course in miracles. Yes. It's yeah. weird. A course in miracles. Okay. A, a C I M. Yeah. Okay. And so when, when did you dive into that? A couple years ago, you said a few years. Yeah. I found it in 2012 at the very cool. last weeks of 2012 it was like my birthday actually i'm born okay. in december and i i found it at 2012 when the whole world was kind of you know we were all like shifting and waking up and i too was i just stumbled into this class and um i studied it diligently for five six years and wow. now i'm stepping into a role of teaching because it's so good I just can't get enough. I'm like, I got the lessons on a, like, I'm, I still get the lessons. A true master or teacher is a habitual student, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. All the time. Yeah. So Always that's learning. my thing is like, I'm committed to keep, keeping learning this, keep on expanding, keep on getting more joy, more abundance, more bliss. I'm okay with getting more of that. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel you. I, I, for me, I took my guitars in the other day to the guitar shop and the guy was like, hey, let me look at your guitars because he's going to fix them. And I thought I was going to just drop them off and just leave. But he's like, he took out the guitar and he started explaining it to me, what's, what, how he's going to fix it or what needs fixed. And um, I appreciated that because rather than me just dropping it off and just leaving, um, he took the time and like explained it to me. And a lot of, that usually doesn't happen a lot. So I think that's really cool. It's a blessing when somebody shows up authentically with you and like is there to serve, right? Like truly, it's just a wonderful feeling when people are present with you. Yeah. So yeah. It sounds so, like he was really present with you and just give gifted you what you needed, which was yeah. information, you know? Like that's what will help you. Oh, yeah. So my, yeah, so my so my whole point was to that was cuz um you're always learning. So instead of me just dropping it up and leaving, I stayed there and learned what he was telling me and then um learned what he was doing my guitar like that was just so cool to see because i'm just used to just dropping off my guitar and then leave paying it and just leave it. yeah yeah so and now you have more knowledge and now you have and and a friend yeah oh yeah yeah it's cool right like that's cool now you have somebody that. who like next time you see them you'll be like hey yeah which is awesome yeah okay yeah i think that's so cool um man I had so many things to ask. Carolyn, um, what have you learned from being a uh, forgiveness coach? And can you explain to us what, a, like, what you do, a, a big picture of forgiveness coach? Yeah. Forgiveness coaching essentially is for helping people who are willing to do something differently. And they're at the point where they're willing to do anything for a change. That's the level of willingness I need to work with people who want to have forgiveness coaching. Forgiveness, essentially, um, what I'll do is I work with people one on one, but I also think just coaching um, in class, coaching in classes, that's teaching, right? I, I, I feel like in every way I demonstrate as a teacher, I, I demonstrate in everything I do in every way. But um, yeah, forgiveness coaching is to support somebody who is 
finally ready to not feel bad about a relationship anymore. And relationship is not limited to people, right? We, all, we have relationships to our money and we have relationships to our jobs and relationships to our health, relationships to time. So if you have an, or if anybody out there has something that they're like, I am finally ready to just be done. And I, I really have given it all my efforts and I just, there's something about it. I can't, but I'm ready and I'm willing. I can give people corrections, loving corrections, which is what a forgiveness is translated to. A forgiveness is a correct perception. When you have correct perceptions, you feel good. And when you're not perceiving things correctly, you feel terrible. So if you're at the point where you're willing to be wrong, you can be coached. You can be given an answer that you might not like, but it will work. And you can transcend that. After you get coaching from me, it's up to you whether or not you do it. Mm -hmm. So I help shine the flashlight in the dark. I side by side or two steps back. Like I let my clients go and do, do the exploration, go inward, visit that inner child, see what he or she is crying out for because that's all it is. We're all trying to reparent our inner child without being big jerks. <laughs> and then, you know, I give you, with a forgiveness formula, I can give you steps to perfectly and permanently creating peace around that situation, hmm. which is invaluable. <laughs> but Selling peace is not easy <laughs> and I don't sell it. I don't need to, right? But um, forgiveness is not sexy. But if I could get people in the world to see forgiveness as a tool and a technology that actually works on quantum mechanics, like it's a cool, cool ass tool. It doesn't, it's not saved and reserved for only religious people. I'm telling you, we're doing ourselves a disservice if we don't give ourselves access to this human quantum super tool called forgiveness. And if you want to learn about it, you got to talk to somebody who knows about it and somebody that knows a little more than you. So I'm at the point in my teaching career that I'm ready to help others who are ready. And I still need teachers to show me. So we're not, we're never done. I never claim to be the end all be all. In fact, I want to coach people so that they don't call back. Yeah. And that's not personal. It's because that means I did. I want you to have the answer. I want you to have your answer and go do it. I don't want you to keep using me. So that's kind of my different and unique approach to coaching. What I think I like what that's unique about you is that uh, you said that uh, you're looking out, you're looking for like you're learning new stuff too from other teachers while you're mm -hmm. doing all this as well. I think that's really cool because you're um, always learning. You're not just, you're not the end all, like you said, it's just constant, constant. I mean, there's so much to learn. Yes. As soon as I say, I think I'm, I've got it all. I want everybody to unfollow me. <laughs> just yeah. unfollow yeah, me. Yeah, just, yeah, I know, right? Like, I, I don't, <laughs> don't want to, I don't want to reach to that do, point. Don't yeah. support that. Don't, yeah. don't encourage that. That's, bad bad juju i don't want that i don't want that i want to be your brother and i want to be your sister i want to walk with you i want to shine the light while you're not feeling so good and then you can shine the light when i'm not feeling so good it's that's how it works yeah it's how it cool. works hey i yeah. yeah i know that you got to get going here because i know your 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 um your show's coming up man this has gone so fast i, I this is how it happens all the time um, I just got a couple more questions real quick. Um, yeah. On your website, um, besides those couple questions, on your website, I know it's coming up. If they want to get on that Zoom call, they just send you a message through that, you know, through that subject line or just shoot you a message on Instagram? Oh, that's such a good question. I love having outside people ask me questions about my own stuff. Okay, so I actually have a, a meetup group. So meetup is another... Uh, maybe I should put, I wonder if Meetup has a way to get a hold of me. So you can direct message me and I will send you the link. Okay. You can, you can direct message me. I will send you the links that will access the Zoom meetings. They're also public in Meetup. 
So if you go to Meetup, you can copy and paste those links oh, okay. from my little group invitations. And I, I have a bunch of reoccurring events on there okay. every Tuesday and Wednesday. I have two classes, Tuesday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. They're both at 6.30 Mountain Time. Yeah, and good for you. Yeah, we talked about forgiveness. Yeah, that's awesome. Tell me about what's your favorite kind of hobbies besides coaching all the time uh, and learning? Well, in Colorado, I love the outdoors. Yeah. I love the outdoors. So I love walking my dogs. I think nice. it brings me so much joy. I do it daily and I love watching them enjoy their walks. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, I love dog walking and I love, I do love shopping and I love crafting and I love painting and I love dancing. So wow. yeah, I mean. What kind of dancing? <laughs> expressive and freestyle and jam out. Yeah. Working, I'll do it oh all. Oh my. <laughs> hey, tell me about the, uh, I got to say this right. The Ray K. Tell me about the oh, Ray, the Ray. Therapist. Yeah, tell me about the Ray K. Okay, Reiki is something that I started doing it. it. It's also something that is spiritual in nature, but it can help with physical, mental, emotional discomfort. So it, it induces a meditative state. It's very much like, an, like a massage is. I have a, like I have a table, but you stay closed and the, the hand positions go all over the body. And sometimes, like if somebody's sensitive to touch, you don't even have to touch. But what well, it is, is it's focused energy being channeled. Wow. Not, not from me, but through me, from life source energy. And so it provides a, a holy opportunity for healing. And I've had really beautiful, wonderful results for many, many, many clients. And I've had clients that it didn't work for, like they didn't love it, but in general, when somebody wants or needs Reiki, it will show up in their life. It's very yeah. divine in that way. It's synchron it will like show up a couple times. So if you hear it a couple times, that might be something you want to check out because there's there's something in it that might bless you, essentially. Okay. Yeah. If you want to turn on some psychic abilities, you could work get some Reiki. Reiki can turn on psychic abilities and wow. I mean, it can really get you in tune. Yeah. It's, it's mostly used for relaxation, but yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I like that. That's something that, that might jump into right there. That's crazy. And it's some energy healing that you were talking about. Wow. Yes. Man. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. It's we're energy. We are energy. Yeah. And oh, yeah. So it's great. It's great if we allow ourselves to explore that because if we don't explore it, we cut ourselves off from it. So even if you don't believe it, if you explore it a little, you provide an opportunity for some pretty miraculous and profound healings. Healings can come in a lot of different forms. Mm, for sure. Tell me about what do you have as advice for upcoming content creators and coaches of your kind like um, yeah if somebody out there is doing what I do yeah boy what I would say is just do it especially <laughs> weird do it weird do it bad because that's the only way it's gonna get going because yeah, yeah. I, I waited like three years to even share because I don't know why because ego fear got in my way and blocked me and I I now, now that I see it's not killing me to be on a camera, like now I'm like, oh, it's joyful. It's connection. Social media, social media pushed you, right? See, that's what I'm saying. It social did. It did. I used it in a as good a way. Like, yeah. And here's the thing. When you use it with a purpose and an intent of extending the good, the holy and the beautiful, yep. then it builds and it grows and it helps and it will develop you. But if you are doing it for all the wrong reasons, you're going to get a lot of lessons through social media, right? Yeah, for sure. But like for us, our purpose is pure. Our purpose is yep. good. So we're going to, we're going to learn. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, Carolyn came on the show. She killed it. Ariel's entertainment podcast. She has an upcoming uh, class coming up, right? 
You got an upcoming class yep, here at yep. 6 30. Mm -hmm. Go to her website. It's right here, guys. Check it out. Support. It's at carolynshares.com, isn't it? Yep, that's it. Oh, you'll, you'll, yeah. Yep, carolynshares.com. Yeah. Go to her website, contact email, subject, put in uh, I am the best. Contact email. Yeah, go yeah. And go to yeah. uh, check out her Ray Key service. Oh, mm -hmm. oh! You, one more thing. You've got your, yep. if you can give us a quick uh, recap on the intuitive readings. Oh, I am tapped into a higher realm of sorts. And so I get intuitive messages and I can, I can focus that in on people specifically and help for the purpose of learning and yeah. for the, and always with the best intentions and um, wow. only yeah so so yeah if people are interested if you know you psychics but it's not like that because i don't necessarily future tell but i do get critical guidance for the people that are willing and interested and they are sent to me so like if there's some way we connect and you want to tap into your higher guidance i can access that for you Jeez Louise, that is yeah. some awesome stuff, guys. Go check yeah. out carolynshares.com. Go check out her Instagram, which is Carolyn Shares. That's her Instagram. Uh, what else do you have where we can follow you at? We got your YouTube, website. Instagram, Facebook page, and then just, you know, reach out to me in any way, shape, or form. It's casual, right? Like, reach out to me. It's it's me it's just me go. so yeah reach out and we'll figure out a way to get in touch so. that is so cool uh again guys this goes up to ariel ent.com instagram ariel ent pod shout out to milton guys <laughs> thank you so much for all your knowledge and wisdom and coming onto the show we are so forever grateful thank you thank you thank you yeah. I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks yeah. Thanks for your time. It's precious. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we're forever grateful uh, for all the wisdom. Uh, guys, if you like this, remember, if you like any of these videos, arielent.com or on YouTube or anywhere, pick one and share it with all your friends. Or, or if you like all six of them, grab them and <laughs> send them in message. Send them in all forms, guys. So go do that, arielent.com. Uh, Instagram, Ariel, E N T P O D. Go to the shop, go support. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. Thank you for commenting. Share, follow, subscribe. Tell your friends and family. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. It's a wrap here in Denver, Colorado on September 16th. <laughs> See? You know, um, shout out to the Nuggets because the Nuggets won it last night. I can't believe it. We're going to play. Yep. Yep. I can't believe it. We're going to play. I know we're gonna we're gonna kill it. we're gonna win against the Lakers. I cannot wait. Um, yes. Yeah, shout out, guys! Mm -hmm. Thank you for all your support. Uh, take care of the animals. Love each other. Wash your hands and love yourself the most. Though that's the most. The more you love yourself, the more you love the world around you. Yep. See. Thank you guys for all your support. We're gonna close it with this amazing song. Thank you guys. Take care. <laughs> All right, guys, we did it. We killed it. Another show. Shout out to Carolyn. Shout out to Milton. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's about forgiveness. Go to arielent.com. Arielent.com. That's where it's going to go up. Tell a friend and family. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. Arielent.com. God bless.